What is up, people? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> so, recently, as in this morning, I decided that I was going to tweak a talk of mine and introduce some new material in it. What I did not anticipate to happen was that I would maybe give the worst performance of my career. Now, I'm saying this because I, I, I'm one of my clients, one of my friends basically said, look, I've seen you talk a lot. It just wasn't your best performance. And I was thinking like, oh man, that sucks. Like, and what's important though is to understand why something might or might not have gone the way that you wanted it to. And so I've been able to give, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 of a very similar talk, rock star status, people like lining up, wanting more and more and more and really engaged crowd. What I did today was I basically didn't do that talk. And instead I implemented a lot of new material that I've been talking about. And I don't think that um, I should have gotten rid of some of the old material. So basically I just started this whole new thing. And a couple of big um, items to note. I believe that I should have kick things off maybe with what I wanted to be new material and then go into the old material and then maybe sprinkle in some of the other stuff. You know, we talk about A-B testing, which is where you take one very small, minute segment and you tweak a little bit to test. What I did was I basically threw away the old stuff, even though it was working great and introduced some new stuff. And so I think there's two things that really were key in me potentially bombing my latest talk. Now, the majority of the audience would probably tell you that I didn't bomb it, but this one individual decided to tell me that it was the worst he's ever seen from me, which is probably still above par, which is what he would also say as well. So, number one, I I had some really funny slides that were supposed to be to get a lot of impact and they didn't. So I talked about that there is a lot of content in the world, that there's a lot of material in the world that people consume. And the image that I used in the slides was from Beauty and the Beast where Belle has a bunch of books behind her. And I thought that that would have resonated with some people, they would have laughed and it would have been good. And then also had some stuff from uh, Will Ferrell's movie, um, can't think of what it's called uh, Talladega Nights where he has he's in the car with the cougar and I'm talking about how people need to be more in their own driver's seat instead of allowing other people to do it that didn't resonate that well which was surprising as well uh, and then a couple other things too uh, that I thought would have hit bigger points but didn't and so I don't know if it was because I didn't, and I haven't been able to watch the replay yet, which I will, and I absolutely recommend everyone to do. I don't know if it was because I personally didn't make the conversation stronger with that picture or what. Or maybe the, the person that's critiquing me actually is wrong and I did an amazing rock star job. But it's important to test new material. So I actually appreciate what, he said. And the reason I appreciate it is because I actually realized that there are some pieces that did go well, didn't go well. And if I could piece that together with the talk that does do well, I would have, I think, bigger moments. And so uh, I believe maybe the reason why some of the images from the slideshow didn't go as well is because the crowd was a little older. And I don't think they were expecting interaction in the way that I present because the majority of people who perform on this stage don't normally perform that way. And so I was very, very much the anomaly in the way that I was presenting that comedy isn't something that normally comes up. And I, I think that was a little unorthodox for them and they, they weren't ready for it. And 
Um, maybe there's a way that I could pull that out of them. I, overall, I think it went well. Sold some books. That's always fun. Got in front of people. Was able to engage with people who I haven't talked with in a while. So that's always good. Uh, some familiar faces, some new ones. But testing material, I think, is really important. So, like, um, if you're going to do a talk, if you're going to do anything, I think you should try to get that material out in front of as many people first so that you can you can gauge what... The threat level is what the love level is. Do people like what you're saying? Do people hate what you're saying? Does it resonate? Do you need to tweak it? You know, do you need to tweak your slides? Then there was also something from the leprechaun video. Remember the Alabama leprechaun? Like I thought that was pretty funny, pretty viral, but the crowd apparently didn't recognize it or had never seen it before. So there's always like little things that like when I put it together, I thought were really super funny. And I'm not trying to like make my talks like, like this comedic thing, but like, I think humor in talks is pretty good. And so there was at least three things that I thought would have hit home really good. And maybe they would with a different crowd, but they just didn't today. And so test the material, know your audience, right? Is your audience going to be the one that is ready for this? And apparently today it wasn't. I could probably give this exact same talk on Friday with a different crowd that is younger and they would probably like it more. That's my guess. So maybe I should do that. Maybe I should test the same thing out. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to learn from what I did and I'm going to take some of the old talk with the new talk and put it together and make it stronger. Uh, if you read an anomaly, I say that you should almost always present the same thing over and over again. And I am and I do, but I was introducing something new. And um, I think that backfired to an extent. I should have just implemented a couple of new things instead of all new material. But I think at the end of the day, by not having the strongest of talks, that will make this next series of talks even stronger because I know where I messed up um, and such and such and such. Um, at the end of the day, doesn't kill us, makes us stronger. So I love feedback, I love hearing things. I also got some other feedback like that my mannerisms were interesting. So like apparently I, I uh, had my arms crossed a lot, which is interesting because I've noticed that I do that, but I, I didn't realize it was a deterrent to someone, so that's interesting. So I'll be more uh, cognizant of that. Um, but test things, right? Watch things. Figure out why people are um, giving you the feedback that they are. The loves, the likes, the smiles, the no smiles, the boards, the sleepings, whatever. Understand that. Replay. Watch the video. Like I did audio of this. There was someone there, Paul Sudlow, um, doing the production from the video. So I'll have that. Like have an opportunity to review what you did. That's super important. And I will do that and I continue to do that. And I love feedback. I love, like, I think people like are afraid of feedback. Like absolutely love it. Like by me getting negative feedback or like things that I can prove upon make me better. So like, I love it. I want more, I want more, I want more. But I think there's a, like, you have to understand like what feedback, what can you do with the feedback and really dissect and understand what, that material that someone is providing you is actually telling you. And so for me, it's like, okay, like this is where I went wrong. I went wrong because I tried out too, too much material. I didn't have a good, even though I've been at this event before, I didn't have a good grasp or I wasn't thinking of who is the, who is the audience and will they get it? There was, I was, I was too much on that. And, uh, that's it, I guess. Right. So, uh, understand your audience. Don't test out too much new material. Um, I'm basically saying the same thing over and over again, so I'm not worried about that. And then apparently, number, number three is don't go on too long of tangents as well, which I apparently did as well. God, so so disappointing, Zach. You're, you're such a failure. No, love it. I love feedback. I think it's the most important thing. Um, and uh, the person who uh, gave me the feedback was Gary Locke. Um, and I felt that at this point I should probably mention his name because he was so mean to me. No, appreciate it. Anyone else that ever wants to give me feedback, I love it. Uh, I won't always implement it. I listen to all of it um, because I think, again, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And I think that content, when you can learn from something, it's super powerful. Um, and I learned that, hey, like, sometimes you, you need to be thinking a lot more than you are and be... Uh, know everything that you want to do in that. So test new material, test it all the due time, but understand that you're going to need feedback from it so that you can learn as to what, uh, what's going to be good and what's going to be bad. Stay tuned. Something big is happening.